Namaste, my name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and N5D Quantum Tie-Dye at N5D.net. And today I'm going to take you through the process of what I do to tie-dye shirts. So to begin with, I'm going to take you into the kitchen. Let's go. So before I actually do any tie-dyeing, I have what's called Synthropol. And this is an industrial strength pH neutral liquid detergent that I use for pre-washing all of my shirts. And the reason I do that is because it gets the fabric ready to dye and it'll remove anything that might be on the t-shirts if they were sent you know, directly from the factory to you. There might be any, you know, some kind of chemicals or something on there. So it gets basically the t-shirts ready to dye. It's the best thing you can use for uh, the, this process. So the first thing we do, you can see I have everything lined up right here. I have the urea, which is uh, nitrogen. And what this does is it gives us, gives us a stronger, deeper, and brighter colors. Uh, so we put this into the water, usually 16 ounces. What I'm using is uh, a, a teaspoon. On 16 ounces, I'll use uh, two teaspoons. On 32 ounces, I'll use four. So we're gonna let that sit and dissolve. Although you can quicken up the process by putting a cap back on and shaking it up. Either way, uh, so I'll be back after this is dissolved and we'll go to, the, to our next step. So now that the urea is dissolved into the, the water, what we're going to do is we're gonna add the dye into the water. Now, I use the best dye available. This is uh, the Procyon dye that you can buy online. This is a resin reactive dye and you'll find that these are the best dyes you can buy, dollar for dollar, pound for pound. If you're gonna spend money on dye, I highly recommend this one. So according to the directions, we put in two teaspoons for every eight ounces. So we have 32 ounces here, so we're gonna be putting in eight teaspoons. I'll repeat the process for each one, but for this video, we'll just do the root chakra. So we're going to shake it up a little. Bloody red. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our stones. We have shungite and black tourmaline. So they're going into the dye. Next, we're going to take some Siesta Key sand, which is 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand. And you only need a little of this. And additionally, you don't want to use too much because it'll plug up the tip of your bottle. All you need is one tiny crystal, honestly, but you know this is pretty powerful. I just take a little pinch. And that's when I put my intentions in. So, may this Siesta Key Sand magnify the power of these gemstones. May the people who wear these shirts made from love and light. Dear Creator, Source, Universe, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Friends and Family on both sides of the veil, Galactic Neighbors and Friends, Higher Self, Mother Earth. I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should, please forgive me. Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support, protection, and abundance in everything that's good in life. As I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart. More than anything, I love you. So 
So what we're going to do is just fill up a little additional water. into the dye. And that bottle is good to go. So we are ready to make Root Chakra t-shirts officially right now. So that's as easy as it is. I'll be doing the same thing with the rest of these. Same process on all my t-shirts except for the ice dye. Now on the ice dye, what happens is you'll have your t-shirt folded and before I put the dye on, what I do is I sprinkle the shirt itself right on top of the shirt. I'll take the and sprinkle it onto the shirt. So even on the, on the ice dyes, you're still getting the benefits of the quartz crystal sand shirts. Or you tie dye the shirt. You want to use, this is what I use, it's called Super Washing Soda, but it's it's soda ash. And you can buy this at Walmart for like three, four, five dollars a box. It's not that expensive and it lasts a long time. This helps the dye saturate better into the shirt. These are little tips that, you know, a lot of people think that, well, all you gotta do is just tie dye the shirt. Well. You should really wash it first in Synthropol. You should put your that helps make the dye set better, it gives you stronger, brighter colors. And you should also use the soda ash because like I said, it helps the dye saturate better into the shirt. So just little tips on tie dyeing. Also, when I get done rinsing the shirts, I wash them again in Synthropol. So there's a lot that goes in to tie dye a shirt. A lot of time, energy. There is unfortunately a lot of water that's used. I do wash them twice. So they are dry twice. So, you know, electricity, a lot goes into it, but it's worth it because what you get with the final product is absolutely amazing. And for anyone that's Bought shirts from N5D tie dye, you know. So I'm going to leave it off at that. Until the next time, this is Greg from N5D.com sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.